Chapter 1, House. I was tasked to investigate reports of a missing child named Georgie. As I arrived at the Piggy's household for any leads, I began to notice things were off. It was unusually quiet and quaint. A breeze of unease shrouded me as I stepped out of my vehicle. Without a moment to react, I blacked out and woke up in the bedroom of a house with a beaming headache. Someone had knocked me out and brought me here. But why? If they wanted to get rid of me, why didn't they finish the job? While attempting to piece together things together, I encountered a strange, crazed pig with different eyes and a hunger for harm. It didn't talk, it just chased me. Terrifying. As soon as I escaped the house, I decided to get back to the station and get help. What we have here seems to be much more than a missing animal case. And then chapter two, station. When I reached the station, I found it to be unusually quiet. No officers celebrating, no criminals rattling their cell doors, nothing. Then the intercom system spurted out a warning to get to the garage. The voice sounded familiar. It was Doggy, my old partner. Where I lost my spot. I don't know why he showed up on his day off. Maybe it was a distress call and all officers received while I was unconscious in the piggy house. As I kept about to unlock the garage, I encountered yet another strange-looking pig. It appeared to have black eyes and a violent attitude, just like the last one. What is it with these animals? What happened to them? And what made them like this? Once I opened the garage door, fueled the escape car, and left the doggy, I felt a sense of dread overwhelm me. I got out, but did not feel safe. I needed to find out what was going on. Bruh. That's, that's chapter one of the Lord tomorrow. We'll do um, the Lord that we find in tomorrow's live stream. Bruh. Record a video of them. Okay, e bye.